Hello and welcome, this is Gremlins, and this is part 16 of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Today, well, first things first, we have one more honeycomb piece to collect. And it's right up here. All we need is two more for the next help unit. But with that out of the way, we are going to turn into a crocodile. Isn't it cute? I think it's cute. I think the, the backpack really fits the ensemble. Now, I'm really excited for this because now the shoe is on the other foot. The bitten is about to become the biter. Yeah, he doesn't jump as high as Banjo Kazooie normally could, but he also doesn't take fall damage, which is awesome. Now, the first jiggy that I wish to collect that's related to the crocodile is mm, related to that green crocodile you might have seen in the corner there. He's an unpleasant fellow. And there is an achievement. Oh, there is an achievement to be earned here. There weren't that many... There weren't any achievements for Gobi's Valley or Freeze Easy Peak. There's one in this level. And he's basically going to explain the rules. And we have to eat the red things. Kind of scroll through text a little fast. But this is why I wanted the running shoes. Because there's an achievement if you can get 30 of these red things in one go. So the trick is to have the running shoes. Otherwise I would have had to come back later. And even though it would have been a little more fluid, at the very least, it, it would be... It's saving some time here by just circumventing that whole not having running shoes bit. I don't really know if I should be using the word circumvent. But anyway, the key to beating Mr. Violet is as such. You either need to settle on a chain of red yumblies in this game, or you have to prevent him from eating one by eating one yourself. And we hit 30, so that means we get the achievement. But as I already have the achievement, it doesn't pop up. And now we start the second game. Again, tip is to either find a chain of reds or stop him from eating one. Because right now you can run circles around him. The game kind of scales how many reds appear, depending on how well you're doing. So the red shoes doesn't mean you completely steamroll him. It just makes it a little easier to get an edge. Because you move slightly faster. But, uh, Mr. Vile's a bitch. He gave me a hard, hard time as a kid. I, I have died a couple of times because whenever you lose a particular game, you lose health. And if you lose all of your health, you have to start over. But if you lose, say, this mini game and you got bit, all you would have to do is start from this game forward. You wouldn't have to do the easy one again. Which is good because it saves a minute. And. We have a nice, comfortable lead, but it's smaller than the one we had before. Lucky! Bitch, I handed you your ass on a silver platter. And... Yeah, this game is much harder than the other two. It is going to be impossible to get a lead sometimes. Now, every ten seconds on the dot, it switches from need to eat red to yellow and back to red again. So if I'd eaten that green one, I would have been screwed. I have a pretty good lead, but I don't know, I'm not I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure I can beat him on the first try, which would be unfortunate. Come on. Oh okay, good. Good, there's there's a lot of red ones on there. Come on, I have three Wait, one. Now I don't really have a lead. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, where's the yellow? Where's the yellow? Where's the yellow? 
Where's the yellow? No! Damn you. Also, tying counts as losing as well. No, I don't want to get chewed. I don't want to get chewed. I don't want to get chewed. I got chewed. Oh god, I need to keep my lead. I need to keep my lead. He's gonna fucking win. He's gonna fucking win. Ah! Yes! Clutched it at the last second. Kiss my ass. Well, you haven't lost before, but you surely lost now. Go fuck yourself. Now, there is a second game you can play. Yeah, I've never played this game when I was a kid, and I'm certainly not going to play it now. There's no achievement related to it, and you don't get bit if you refuse. Yeah, it's called gambling. I, I know when to fold them. Stupid crocodile. Stupid red crocodile. Yeah, I'm racist towards red crocodile. Probably 10 tolerance class, but regardless. Now we can finally search the swampy waters. That is obviously the other benefit of having the croc. You don't get damaged. I mean, ball damage is a nice, nice touch, but again, he can't jump as high as Banjo and Kazooie. That stupid asshole dragonflies, I'm trying to avoid- Oh, I almost got hit. There you go. Who's laughing now? Bitch. Hey, I didn't have to backtrack again. I don't even know why I bothered with that extra life, to be honest. But yeah, we've gotten everything in this level. As soon as we can collect that jiggy. Yay, there we go. I will see you at the level entrance. And we're back. Now, once you exit the level, remember back a couple of videos ago where I smashed that ice cube and said, we'll wait until you're older? Well, the time is now. It's been about a month, I don't know. Don't quite remember. Hate ice physics. Oh, come on. Thankfully, you can smash those ice cubes with your teeth. Which makes sense. Well, maybe not that big of a cube, but whatever. Now we can finally squeeze into this tight opening as our good old croc with the backpack. And we're gonna go ahead and say hi to this person who we haven't met before. I love Cheeto. I almost want to slow down his text because his bleep bloops are not as annoying as the other ones. But, eh, let's just go through it quickly. Oh, Treasure Trove Cove, we have to go back there. Um... Teleport! Ah, great teleport there, Banjo. Now time to plug up this bucket. Okay, I'll stop. And yes, you do have to do this every time you want to enter a code, but thankfully there are only three Cheetos spellbooks to find. And finding them, you don't actually have to get the codes, but I'm entering them as they are helpful. We'll net you an achievement. On the XBLA version, anyway. For those playing the N64 version, I'm about to spoil you because... Well, rather, I already have spoiled you because I split up uh, Bubble Gloop Swamp into two different segments. And you really can't do that in the original because the notes reset takes your highest note score. So if you are playing the N64 version again, I would recommend just going through the level and collecting all the notes, and if necessary, if you're having trouble with Mr. Vile, and going back later. But as you can see, we have many more eggs and they're very helpful, and this is the last time you'll see Bubble Gloop Swamp. Next up, Freeze Easy Peak.